The point of this video is to show you what I do to recover from a brooch. Um, I hope it helps people that may be new to sailing boats that can broach uh, with asymmetric kites and also I would welcome any feedback from anybody who has any tips for me. So this is my friend Howard uh, helming with me on the kite on a sport boat called an Antrim 27. Uh, it's ideally suited for a crew of, of five or so. Uh, as you can see, we're double handing, which we do a fair bit of the time. This is actually Howard's first time helming the boat. Um, and so we are having some fun. It's about 22 to 23 knots of wind, getting gusts up to around 25 and lulls down to maybe 20. Boat speeds around 12 and a half knots, kind of average here. 14 and a half was our fastest uh, time of the day. Um, you know, the waves we get uh, have a fairly short period to them, and so you'll see some water coming over the front as we bury down one wave into the next. And that itself creates a bit of pressure on the boat, and that it slows the boat speed. And uh, with the sails out on the port side, you can see it'll create some rotation, rotational moment with that slowdown uh, to push you more to a brooch. And so it's important to watch for that and just to turn down. Obviously, we're looking for gusts as well and calling those and trying to turn down when needed. But uh, um, both coming from a catamaran background, we like to make sure that we head up and load everything up as well. So um, we're playing a little bit here with the angles and uh, taking some chances. And uh, as you can see, we have the Vang uh, mostly off and we're controlling twists with the main sheet. Um, in lulls uh, and when we get overpowered we can also let out the main and, and let out the, the spinnaker sheet uh, but sometimes broaching happens pretty quickly and uh, we're trying to communicate a lot we can see a gust coming and um, you can see how we're turned down a little bit uh, but then you also see the nose bury and uh, we're getting more and more water over the front and uh, at that point uh, it would have been good to pop the main sheet um, but that didn't happen and we broached and so <clears throat> first point and thing to do is to make sure that everybody's okay and once that's done uh, explain the plan so we're going to go to a broad reach here and uh, we're going to pull in the main a little bit and we're trying to get some actual boat speed here the, the kite is flapping like crazy it's very noisy sounds really bad um, it's just noise uh, the boat is not going to flip. The kite is probably not going to rip as long as we get this recovered. So uh, we want to get a bit of boat speed going up and try to turn down. As we turn down, let out the main slowly at the same time. Um, and ideally, the boat will will turn down, dead down wind, and then we can recover the kite. So just want to make sure the sheet is completely released on the kite. Uh, we're going to try again here, pull the main in. And uh, we're looking upwind for lulls. Uh, that provide the best opportunity to turn down and sometimes you just have to be patient and ride it out if this doesn't work we'll let the main halyard or the kite halyard out about six feet and try again if that doesn't work we'll blow the halyard completely go shrimping and uh, retrieve the kite from the lake uh, it's too bad to have to do that because uh, I don't have another kite this size and uh, we really do want to get it recovered so we'll spend a bit of time here um, I was a little slow on trying to let the main out on that one. So third time's a charm. Let's do this. We'll let the main go as we do it. Have the boat speed to help us and around we go. So now we're headed back on the right course. We want to head dead downwind, as you can see from the telltales on the uh, shrouds. First step to getting going again really is to uh, get the sheets all in the proper space. Make sure nothing's completely tangled. And uh, from there it's, you know, recover the kite. <clears throat> pull out any twists uh, get things flying properly and then back to having fun so that's what we do and uh, you can see Howard's already here trying to get some angles and uh, get the boat speed back up so we still had a, a great afternoon uh, ended up broaching another time and doing the same thing to recover and uh, all in all a great day of sailing so hopefully this video is informative to some of you and uh and give you a bit more confidence sailing in big winds and, and broaching and, and uh, realizing they are recoverable and, and not the end of the world. I'll leave it at that. Happy sailing, everyone.